Hello there. I'm Judy Royal from The Royal Treatment. And this is Food for Thought, Nourishment for the Body, Mind, and Soul for the week of September 23rd. And this week, uh, I was guided to choose from the path of the soul. We also um, used these cards yesterday at our labyrinth ceremony, so I thought it was only fitting to use them today as well. And these are by Cheryl Lee Harnish. And the cho uh, card that I chose for today, on behalf of all of us, is uh, Chenrizi Manifestation. This card works to create a positive outcome in all situations. Chenrizi works to free you from your problems, burdens, and suffering by showing you all the many wonderful blessings in life. This card is the ultimate manifestation on every level and every way. It is the complete form of fulfillment. This is the turning point in life, free-flowing manifestation of all the good this world has to offer is coming to you. Stay focused on the blessings and you will see them multiply. What a wonderful card. And this is so um, appropriate considering the wonderful energy that uh, we have um, experienced this past weekend. And so, some of us may be standing at the threshold of a wonderful portal way opening and we're aware of, of all the good things the universe has to offer and, and we're starting to receive them. And then there are some of us who um, may feel that uh, we're stuck and we're spinning our wheels and that you are at the beginning of your spiritual journey and you have a long way to go. But that in itself is just fine because this is a time to celebrate. And I'll use the example from yesterday from the labyrinth. Uh, the labyrinth is actually a metaphor of life. And what we found with a few people is that although the labyrinth is not a maze, it's um, a pathway and you can find your, you can, there's only one way to find the center and if you follow that path, you find your way out again. But some people became quite confused, and they seemed to get lost, or they felt that they were lost. And what we found was that when they tried to look way ahead, uh, they lost their bearings. But when they just concentrated on one step at a time, one foot ahead of the other, they didn't lose sight of where they were going. Isn't that a great metaphor? And so, maybe that's good advice for all of us, is that celebrate the moment that we're here now and look and see where we've come rather than where we're going and just keep that in mind, that this is a time to celebrate and all the good things of the universe are out there just waiting for us. And with that, I'll say goodbye. And I look forward to hearing you from my uh, website uh, Facebook or my email and please do call. And with that, bye for now.